Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm High Lord Tamerlane, and this here is the box from Zombicide Invaders with Dark Side Extras. So Dark Side was the expansion that was actually a totally new standalone edition, and it came with a bunch of extra sculpts. Ugh. So let's see what we got here. First of all, we have the Operation Persephone, which has 10 missions combining Invader and Dark Side. So it's got the rules for the Scientist Companions in there. I was wondering about that, how to use the crossover cards. The Driller Blitzers. Huh, I thought they were actually in the game, but I guess not. So we've got the whole rules set up here, special rules as well. A reminder of how to play. But you guys don't care about that. What you really care about are the models themselves. Where are the blitzers? I believe that is a blitzer, is it not? Let's take a look closer. It would have probably helped if I went back and actually looked at the web page of the Kickstarter itself, but I didn't. <laughs> so that's not the most helpful. Oh well. So here's our basic guy. I believe these are the blitzers. Solid detail. I like these guys a lot more than the ones in the base game, but the ones in the base game are actually starting to grow on me too. I'm not sure what that is. I probably should have really looked at the actual game. <laughs> I haven't even pulled it out yet. We'll get to it. The lurker, the runners, or whatever they are. And then we have the big abomination alpha, whatever. I don't like the tongue. I think it looks silly. I also don't like his little arms, but that's just me being picky. And I guess I was a little bit spoiled with some of the other more recent alien models we've seen, like with uh, Nemesis and things like that. On the other hand, I do like the runners and the blitzers. I think those guys look pretty cool. Did we grab them all? Oh, no, I forgot this thing. I have no idea what this guy is. One of the other models. So those are all of the new alien sculpts. We get about four or five of each, with the exception, obviously, of the big mutant alpha abomination thing. But then we also have the scientists. So I'm kind of curious how they're going to play. Not the most exciting of models. We have the old lady with a gun and a big backpack. And she's huffing it. We have old man holding his pants up. Reminds me of Vincent Price for some reason. Not Vincent Price and Peter Cushion. And then we got the cool guy. He doesn't look like a scientist at all. How do they look compared to some of the other models we might have laying around? Well, let's grab a couple of Mantic and GW models. With our ever-present Marine. I also grabbed a couple of heroes from Star Saga. So if you were looking to supplement that, that might be an interesting take. You have yourself a whole new set of aliens. Besides the Star Saga models, I thought what might be a fun use for these things would be as Otherworld Invaders, perhaps, or Shadows of Brimstone. And despite Shadows of Brimstone being a little bit taller, you gotta say, mm, the new models are actually looking like they would scale in pretty well. Whether you want to do it in the Old West or in the Forbidden Fortress, I think having a bunch of creepy crawly critters like this would be a kind of a fun alternative. Somebody far more industrious than me is probably going to come up with rules for that. Hopefully, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Somebody ought to do it. Come on. It just seems like so ripe for, you know, fighting swarms of xenomorph type aliens. So, an idea. Toss a couple other GW models in there just to give you guys a good sense of scale. Our heroes are going to match up pretty good. Obviously we want stuff like our Chaos Marines to be a little bit bigger. But yeah. So sculpt wise, looking nice. We have not a whole lot of variety in terms of the poses, but you know what? I mean, they're aliens. It doesn't really matter. And they're kind of cannon fodder types. I think these are the two of the same basic grunt models anyway. So I'm eager to try out the game. Uh, 
I find regular zombies boring, and I don't know why we even called this zombicide at all, because, well, there's no zombies. I still think they should have called it xenocide, but that's just me. So hopefully, if you're curious about what you got, if you went ahead and got the dark side extras, this is what you can expect. So, with that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities Miniatures, and see you later, and let's get to playing. Bye-bye.